one of the weird things about our culture is that we find death something very acceptable, something that we can easily understand, something that we can find entertaining, and something that we can um, see on a regular basis. But it's not so much death itself that really fa seems to fascinate us, but the way in which we come to grips with an understanding of death. So obviously, the whole fact that we're immortal, that we're, the whole fact that we're mortal, that we have a finite time span, and that we're all going to die eventually, at some point, is a burden that is weighing upon us all permanently, and it's just a matter of us waiting for that moment before we meet our maker. But beyond that, beyond just the general idea of knowing that eventually we're going to die, there's that moment when you realise your death is imminent, when you can look into someone's eyes and there's just complete disbelief and shock when they realise that in a few seconds they will die, and in a way, that moment is far more terrifying and shocking than the death itself, because um, if you happen to die in a way that you can't mentally process, and you just go out without even thinking about it, somehow this is less awful or less tragic and so when someone actually is fully conscious of the fact they're about to die and then that process then happens and then they're gone that is like many times more extreme on an emotional level so whether this is something to do with our current culture, the way that our, soci our particular society is organised, or if this is something that affects all humans all the time and, will alw and always will, I'm not certain. I don't know whether this is nurture or nature, this is historically relative or something that humans will always have to face with, but I do notice this. The fact that there is death does not overwhelm us throughout Hollywood movies, seeing people die is a common sight and it's just normal for them to have to suffer, but most of the time it's through not being able to do anything about it. It's just an instant explosion and then they're gone. So throughout my childhood, what is particularly what I particularly remember, and what really sticks out, are those moments, those particular moments when I'm watching a movie or a TV show, when the person is fully cogent and aware and rationally bound in understanding that they're about to die in a few seconds, and you get to see that moment in their eyes, that moment of complete and utter terror and disbelief and helplessness that they know there's nothing they can do that there's nothing that will happen now except for their death first of all Dragon Ball Z did that moment a few times when particularly think of when Vegeta was about to kill Jace and Jace um, screamed out at Vegeta, begging him to stop, and Vegeta just gave a maniacal grin and then killed Jace. That moment really stuck. That moment really got to me when I first saw it. That moment in Jace's face and eyes as he 
begged for mercy. Unlike most other Dragon Ball Z characters who just die instantly, Jace had that moment where he had to try to... that moment of realisation that his begs for mercy were not going to work, that screaming at Vegeta wasn't going to work, and that he was bound to die. Another one moment that has really stuck with me all these years is um, there was a TV show, a drama sort of cop show called The Pretender and it was on in the 1990s and I was a very young child when it was on and my mum was a big fan of the show. She watched it regularly and so I saw various scenes of the show over the years and one particular scene that has just implanted itself deep in my memory is when the two bad guys from a this is a, just a random particular episode the two bad guys have fallen down into a large ditch which is a large cons hole, you know. This is taking place in a construction site. Hmm. 